So coming into our strength work, we're going to make sure that our arms are straight, those fingers are engaged. You are sucking the belly in, pulling it back to the spine. You are very, very stick straight, almost like an aerial plank here. So I want you to just go ahead, ground your feet, bringing them to the mat. The seat comes back, so you're almost in an L shape. And then I just want you to take that left foot, walk it in the middle of your body, and just bring the right leg up. We're going to hug it in. So we're going to have nose to knee the best you can. Again, sucking out that belly, really protecting that back, and rolling the ankles right and left. Now we're going to shoot that foot back coming into airplane. So our arms are going to be straight again and the leg is straight. Make sure those hips are like headlights pointing towards that back wall. And we're going to do our toe touches here. So one, two, really concentrating on that belly, protecting the back, and also that leg being stick straight in the back. And using the glutes to bring that foot up. Make sure you're not um, blocking out that standing leg. Now I want you to bend at the knee and you're going to flex, uh, flex the foot and stamp the ceiling here. Using that glue, making sure that belly is tucked in. Okay, and then we're just going to bring that leg almost into a fire hydrant here. So your knee is going to come to that elbow. Then if you want the ultimate challenge, you can rise on those toes, kicking that right leg out, and then coming down. And then let's just take a mountain pose here. So you're bending, coming back, taking a bind, breathe, just stretching out a little. Chin to chest, arms out to a T, and we're going to fly back up. So heels, knees, toes, and up. So just making sure that those hips are tucked and the belly is scooped out. We're going to again come back. So feet are grounded. The seat comes back, bringing the right leg under you. Now let's go ahead and hug in the left knee. Knee to nose if you can. Scoop out the belly to give you more space and roll out the ankles. Coming into airplane, we're going to shoot the arms back out. The leg goes back. Hips are like headlights to the wall. Pointing the toe, we're going to do some toe touches here. So really engaging that core, engaging the left glute. Squeeze as you come up, and don't walk out the standing leg. One more, bending at the knee, flex the foot, and you're going to stamp the ceiling. So using that left glute to make that foot move. Now let's bring it to the elbow. So you're going to take your knee to elbow in that fire hydrant. And if you want an ultimate challenge, you're going to come up on the toes, kicking that leg out. Bring it down. Mountain pose. And just take a different bind if you haven't come into cactus yet. Or you can even just let the arms hang. But it's important to keep those hips up, legs are straight. Find movement or just be still. Chin to chest, coming up, just come back into a chair here. And pull yourself up. So now we're going to come to the back of our stuff. So if you are able, you can jump through or you can just simply move the silk through. So as you're jumping through, coming up on those tiptoes, I want you to bring your knees up to your chest. Get the cannonball and come behind. Okay? So now we're going to go up and do a little straight work there. 
So to put our right foot in, you want it um, like a seat belt here. You're going to put the arch into the silk, toes out, heels out, pulling with your upper body, coming up into your silk here. So make sure that you're holding on. And then we're just going to find some toe touches here. So the left leg's going to stay behind the silk, pointing the toe. And we're going to just come down, sliding right against the silk. So you don't want that back to arch. You want to make sure that you are sucking in that belly to keep the back protected and sliding down as straight as possible. Coming up, and then one hand at a time, just bring a little blood flow back. Give your hand some love. Holding on, releasing the other hand. Okay, now bring that foot through. Keeping the foot flexed, we're going to do some squats here. So same thing, we're going to sit back, really protecting the back, keeping it straight, we're not arching, and we're pulling with those shoulders. Making sure that foot is flexed. Very good. Now again, if you want to bring some blood flow to the hands, one at a time, release.
get a release out of this bind. So, I want you to hold on, and you're going to press the right side of the step away, changing your grip, thumb is down. So your grip is going to be right at your ribs. And same on the other side, but as you're doing the other side, I want you to counterbalance, so sinking just a little bit in the hips, I want you to press away with the left side, still holding on with the right, sinking in the hips. Now you've got a little counterbalance going on because otherwise you're just going to fall forward. That's where your energy is going to want to go. So both hands at your ribs. You're going to really hold tight. You're going to bring the knees up to the chest, keeping those feet pointed and out. You can straddle here. You can keep them in cannonball. And then when you're ready, you can just slide down. And you can either come back into your swing or pop yourself out.
let's go ahead and just release from the silk. And then we're going to come back through the silk, finding your swing. So grabbing up high, cannonball, seated. Okay. Now let's just do a little bit of abs here just while we're in our swing. So if you're comfortable here, just make sure that you are, like you have a dolphin tail. So you've got everything pressed together and you're sitting in your swing, making sure that that belly is really scooped out, your abs are engaged. Now just go ahead and take your hands here, right at the silk, so that way if you feel like you're off balance, you, you can be right here to grab. But what I want you to do is just sit for just a minute Try to take your hands off the silk. If you're comfortable, you can close your eyes, release. And coming back. Okay. Now let's just find stillness and pop out of this swing here. Okay, so we're gonna just do a little bit of ab work here as well. So coming into your swing, I want you to walk under your plumb line, Finding your cannonball, and then you're going to wrap the right leg, so inside out, releasing the left leg to the mat. So this is a really good hamstring stretch here. So really feel that stretch. You're engaging the core. If you'd like to take a bite here, you can do that as well. We're going to release. We're going to do some toe touches here. So. 10 toe touches, up and down. Just really making sure that belly is scooped out. You're engaging that core. It's your core that is working here to really get that foot up. One more, now let's switch sides. So you're gonna release the leg, holding on, coming back into the cannonball. Wrapping the left leg. Release the right to the mat. Toe touches here. Again, making sure you're engaging that core. That is what is doing the work here. Breathe. 